Well, uh, I had been residing in Garden Grove for about almost 10 years, and I was uh, not like, I was a solitary Christian. I would listen, read my Bible, listen to Christian radio, but I wasn't really coming to church. I didn't have a home Bible study. I didn't have a church family. <clears throat> and a lot of that stemmed from uh, a diagnosis of PTSD. Now, most people think, you know, PTSD is like something you get when you go to war or whatever, but I grew up in a, in a pretty violent household and then my PTSD was triggered by some other events that had happened. And so, but slowly because of the need and the desire to, um, you know, have a direction in life, I started going, uh, you know, seeking churches. And um, Midway City was like the one church that I started coming here on a Saturday night. It felt right. It was a time when I usually didn't have anything else going on. And I also felt comfortable. There wasn't an overwhelming uh, presence here. And, uh, you know, everything was pretty much simple and straightforward. And there wasn't a lot of bells and whistles, but there was a sense of family and um, a sense of community. And slowly I became, you know, more uh, comfortable with that uh, community at, at Midway City. So Midway, what Midway has meant to me is um, being able to see faith actually in action. Um, you know, our pastors aren't flashy, but I get to see on a, on a weekly basis um, their, um, their mission is actually in work, working through and just one step at a time, really methodically, just walking out their faith and living their faith. And uh, it's been evidenced in many ways to reaching out to the community, um, to reaching out to um, kid, children who needed foster care. And um, it's probably been the best example of Jesus Christ in my life.